So John, obviously two days until the playoff semi-final first leg, what's the mood in the camp like at this stage? Yeah, it's good. We're, uh, we're positive, we're feeling fit. Um, we've got everyone available for selection, which is good. Um, for the manager to have them options to, to pick various different players in various different systems. Um, the preparation's gone as well as sort of it can go um, and we're looking forward to it. Uh, first game at home on Friday night, it'll be a little bit different to what we know but um, we need to make sure we come out early doors and, and try to get a stamp on the tie. You always come across as a very assured and confident player. Do the nerves ever kick in for a game of this magnitude? Uh, not really. I think you have general nerves anyway just sort of um, and routines that you go through before a game and um, you know if anyone said they, they're not nervous then you, I'm not sure if how much they probably care but I think you have a slight bit of nerves but you use it in a positive way it's never too much for me personally to, to you know get nervous and not want the ball or anything um, I'm always wanting, wanting to get on the ball as much as I can so um, and if you make a mistake you just get on with it and, and try try rectify it so um, no, there's no nerves. I think it's just general, you know, anticipation of, of what's, it, what's going to come ahead. As you mentioned, it'll be a slightly different atmosphere. How's that going to work for you as a player who sort of thrives off of the crowd sometimes? Yeah, obviously, you, normally you've got a sellout every week here at Fratton Park and um, our home record has got a massive factor to do with the supporters that we get, uh, that, that, we get that come down every week. Um, but for us as players, we know that we're going to have, you know, thousands of Portsmouth fans watching at home um, and we still need to put a performance on and need to put a put on two good performances to hopefully give us a chance to get into Wembley um, and without that with the fans or without the fans here we know that we need to perform um, and we need to be better than Oxford over two games um, and hopefully when you know the time comes that um, the fans can come back in hopefully they're back in watching championship football. It could so easily last season have been yourself playing against Pompey in the in the playoff final do you use something like that as extra motivation to be successful the second time round? Yeah, I've said before. I think you learn from um, you learn from mistakes. You learn from um, good experiences. You learn from bad experiences. And obviously, last year uh, didn't sort of end how I wanted it to end in terms of um, getting to the playoff final and having the opportunity to play at Wembley and try to get promoted. Um, however, you know, you learn from from what happens and um, missing a penalty or you know missing an opportunity. Then things happen in football, and it, it's not sort of um, how long you let it worry you for because um, if you think about it too much and overthink things it you know it will have a bad effect on you so you got to put them sort of things to the back of your mind and and just use the experience that you know I had personally and Portsmouth had last season of, of not um, getting through to the final and now that everyone's experienced that I'm sure that we'll have that little bit of extra fire in our bellies to try just get that one step further and then hopefully try and win it. Whatever happens, it's still been a fantastic season for you. You'll go into the games as top scorer. Is that in your mind at all that you'd like to to get your hands on the golden boot at the club? Uh, not really. You know, I just I want to take every game as it comes, as I've done throughout the season. Um, my form since the turn of the year has been pretty good. Uh, nine and twelve starts and and three of them was playing as a number 10 so I know what I can do in terms of when I play what I can offer to the team um, and I think goals is a big part of that and, and my work rate and my work ethic and and my all-round threat as a, as a centre forward so um, and hopefully in the next two possibly three games I get the opportunity to show that again I'd love to add to my tally um, you know it'd be nice to get at least one more and get to 15 um, but hopefully I can add a few more than one and and can get the goals to get us promoted.